Welcome to this Excel tutorial on converting text to time. In this video, we'll explore two effective methods to achieve this task seamlessly. Whether you prefer formulas or delve into VBA coding, we've got you covered. Let's dive in. Our first method involves a simple formula. By utilizing the TIMEVALUE function and a combination of left, len, and right, we can effortlessly convert text to time. Like this formula equals time value left bracket left b1 len b1 minus 2 and colon and right b1 2 type this formula into a blank cell and press enter key on your keyboard to apply it and drag the autofill handle to other cells to apply this formula This formula extracts the necessary components from the text and converts them into a time format. You need to keep these cells selected, and right-click on it, select Format Cells from the Context menu list and the Format Cell dialog will open. Switch to Number tab under Format Cells dialog box, and select Time Category from the Category list, and select one time type as you need. Click OK button. Now, let's explore the second method, which involves a more dynamic approach using VBA. We'll create a user-defined function to streamline the conversion process. Open Excel and press Alt plus F11 to enter the Visual Basic for Applications, VBA, Editor. In the VBA Editor, go to Insert to Module to create a new module. Copy and paste the following VBA code into the module. Close the VBA editor and return to Excel. You can now use the new function convert text to time in your Excel workbook. For example, assuming the text is in cell A1, you can use the formula. Equals convert text to time, A1. This VBA code creates a custom function that allows you to convert text to time seamlessly. Feel free to adjust the code to suit your specific requirements. Converting text to time in Excel is a crucial skill for anyone dealing with time-sensitive data. Whether you prefer the simplicity of formulas or the versatility of VBA, you now have two powerful methods at your disposal. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Excel wisdom.